Okay. Let's go see if we can put these in. I have never done this before. So please do keep that in mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cutting right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, shipping, but... Ooh. Peanuts, 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 peanuts. Would you like my penis? Would you like my penis? Ah, here it is. If you own a 997 generation Porsche, doesn't matter if it's a turbo or a base model or a GT3, you will have this issue. I've seen these before. Oh my God, really? They were hundreds of dollars. On Euro tuning, I think I paid $45 for these. Look at that. Brand new temp and fan gauges. Now, you're supposed to push up to increase the temp and down there to increase the temp. But what everybody does, including myself, is push down and up on that little raised part. And then that temp and that fan, it fades away. I don't know why it's such poor quality coming from Porsche, but it is. What I will say though, is that regarding Porsche quality, the 997 generation, is just leaps and bounds above the 996 generation. So you can get these now through Euro tuning for only for under 50 bucks. And that is well worth it because it makes your really expensive German sports car look like complete, absolute shit when the dash is all worn out. I, I mean, it's that's that's like what you expect to see in a Chevy. Let's take that out to the garage and see if we can't get it installed. Okay. Let's go see if we can put these in. I have never done this before. So please do keep that in mind. Let's see if we can uh, do something about that. Um, so I need to get this out. And what does this do here? Does that help me pull that out? No, right there. I don't know about that. See, when you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> Okay, so this is so simple. And all these tools, completely superfluous. So I guess there is a hidden screw here. And I mean, you can't even see it to see what it is, but uh, and I'll reference the person that helped me find this so you can figure out what size these are. Can't see it. 
I can't see it. There it is. How about that? They're little hidden screws. Okay. There's that one. And then there's two screws there. Again, I will reference the video below where I got this. Pop that out. And then there's a metal tab here. Here, rather. That you press in on that, and then you should be able to pull that out. So let's go do the other side real quick. Press on these tabs, one here and one here. Not so bad. On to the bench. Or not. Bunch over here. It's these one, two, three, four screws here that I'm going to undo. A small torx like this. I'm going to take this whole thing apart. In order to get this off, I think I'm just going to cut those clips off on all four corners if I can and then I can push it out because I have to unclip both of these in addition to those down there okay temp is on the left side So, you would expect little things like that. I did not realize it was going to take that long. Holy shit. Anyways, that's what you do. I mean, it took me probably about an hour. But, there were some challenging things there that maybe everybody doesn't want to uh, tackle. So, I get it if you don't. But, it certainly is worth it from the looks department. That's how it works garage. See you next time.
really excited today because I got my wheels.